mail merge is one of the most productive processes Word provides because you can print and or send hundreds of letters, envelopes, and emails with just a few clicks of the mouse. The mail merge sequence is start with mail merge and select the document you want to merge with your database, what Microsoft refers to as the recipients list. Finally, you finish and merge, print and save the merge documents for future use. If you think about it, many documents like envelopes and letters will require your return address and the client's mailing address. There are some one-time setup procedures you should do to avoid repetitive work related to addressing. They are setting up a return address, matching fields for the address block, and creating an address block. Let's review what we've already learned. We've already set up the return address in a previous video. This leaves the address block and match fields. Both take about two minutes each to complete. Remember, we already have an Excel recipient list with field names and customer data in each row. The match fields is just a window for matching your field names with names chosen by Microsoft. But first, you have to select a recipient's list to match. I've already selected our Excel recipients list. I'll create a split screen so you can better match the field names. If you have already created an Excel table, it's less problematic for Microsoft to substitute their field names for your field names. This table makes it easy to do. The left column shows Microsoft's field names. The right column shows your field names. Microsoft attempts to match the field names and does so except for address 1. Notice first name is matched with first in this column. Last name match with last. Company matches. We skip down to city, state, and zip match the postal code. The only thing that doesn't match is address 1. We have an address under Business Street, but it didn't match. So if you click the drop down box and select Business Street, here are all the headers in our Excel sheet. So click on Business Street. Now that's matched. Check the box to always use this matchup for this Excel worksheet. Click OK. Let's demonstrate merge fields with a simple greeting. Click on Insert Merge Field. First notice you can choose between the database field names in our database, our Excel list, or the Microsoft field names we matched, referred to as the address fields, because these field names are used to build the address block covered next. We'll select the database fields. You can see first, last, so forth, matches our column headings. Insert 
first, insert last, and close. Let's put a space here. If you do not have the preview results on, you'll see the field names first and last. And here you can click through each row in the spreadsheet. Let's start at the beginning and turn on the preview. And there's Willie Coyote. Click Next, Remington Steel, and so forth. When you click on Preview Results and step through the names, you can see how each row is merged if you were to print a letter. The address block is just a window that saves the format you want for printing your customer's address or recipient's address as Microsoft refers to it. This saves repeating these steps for every new document that uses an address. Click on the address block and look at the preview box to see the default format. Let's clear all the check boxes and check them in one at a time. The first box formats the recipient's names and allows for nicknames, middle initials, and titles that may be in your database. We'll go with the default. The next box inserts the company name, then the postal address. Let's go back to the first row and the second row. You can see each of the rows again. The last box automatically formats the countries other than the USA. For our database, it makes no difference since all the addresses are in the USA. The match fields have already been set, so click OK. Here you see the field names. If you click Preview Results, you can see the address. Now we have set up the return address, match fields, and address block for documents when this data applies. We are now ready to start mail merge. And our first document will be a basic envelope. 